Whisker. Abiba lived in a beautiful village in Ethiopia with her mother and father. Abiba loved her parents and she loved playing with her friends in the village. She was very happy. One very sad day, Abiba's mother died. Abiba was very sad. She stopped playing with her friends and only played with her father. After two years, Abiba's father said, I met a nice woman called Gilila and I want to marry her. Gilila has two children, he said, a daughter called Eline and a son called Gurma. They are your new brother and sister. Abiba was not happy when Gilila, Gurma and Eline came to live with her. She did not want a new family. Abiba did not like Gurma because all of her friends wanted to play with him. She did not like Eileen because she wore all her old clothes. Gilila was very nice to Abiba, but Abiba did not want to talk to her or eat her food. Abiba visited Grandma for a few days. Grandma, I don't like my new family, Abiba said. Gilila doesn't love me, but my father loves her and her children. Do you want Gilila to love you? Grandma asked. Abiba thought hard about this question. Then she slowly said, yes. Then, let's make a love potion, Grandma said. Abiba was excited. What a good idea, she said. A love potion is not easy to make, Grandma said. I need a cheetah's whisker. Can you get one? Abiba felt very afraid, but she wanted to make a love potion. Yes, she said. In the morning, Abiba left Grandma's village to look for a cheetah. She walked and walked. She came to some long grass. It was the savannah. Soon Abiba heard a river. Cheetahs like to drink from rivers, she thought. She climbed up a tree to look. Then the grass moved. It's a cheetah. It sat by the river. Abiba watched the cheetah all day. In the evening, it went back to the river for a drink. Abiba went back to Grandma's house. That night, they made dinner. Does the cheetah want some food? Abiba thought. She put some meat in a bag. In the morning, Abiba went back to the tree and threw the meat to the sleeping cheetah. When the cheetah woke up, it walked to the meat and it ate it. Then the cheetah went to the river for a drink. Abiba went back with more meat. She threw it to the cheetah again. The cheetah looked happy. One day, Abiba stayed near the cheetah. Every day, Abiba moved nearer and nearer to the animal. Now, she was not afraid. She was the cheetah's friend. One day, Abiba sat next to the cheetah when it slept. Then, she slowly took one of its whiskers. Abiba ran to Grandma's house. She was sad to leave her new friend, but she felt excited about making the love potion. Grandma, I have it! I have a cheetah's whisker, Abiba said. Let's make the love potion. Grandma laughed. How did you get a cheetah's whisker? She asked. Every day I was nice to the cheetah and every day the cheetah liked me more and more, Abiba answered. When we were friends, I took its whisker. Grandma smiled and said, Abiba, you don't need a love potion. You waited and you were nice. Then the cheetah came to you. You must wait and be nice to Gilila, Eileen and Gurma because it's important to your father. It's easier than making a love potion. Abiba went home to her new family. She was happy to see them.